Okay, in this one, I'm going to go a little farther on this generator, and I'm going to check amp draw, and I'm going to see how much it draws down uh, when you put a fairly large load on it. Uh, and I uh, also wanted to put it on an oscilloscope to see how clean the uh, sine wave is on it. So let's get started. Now this is the load I'm going to put on it. It's about uh, 1.7 kW when it's running under load. And I'm going to fire it up, put it under load, and we'll see what happens to the generator. How it loads down and if it handles it okay and, and keeps its RPM up. Now I've got an ammeter on this thing. And you can see in the picture in picture a little closer. And we'll see what the amp draw goes up and you can listen to the motor load down. Uh, it actually seems to handle this load pretty good but it goes up to about 14 and a half amps on this thing. So that's about 1.7 kW. It did seem to uh, pick up speed pretty good on it, and it did handle the load okay. It did not seem to drop it too much, although it did take a little while for the uh, load to fill up on it to, to get up to the high amperage. But uh, overall, actually, it did pretty good. I uh, was uh, fairly impressed. Here I've got the oscilloscope set up, and you'll be able to see when this thing fires up, what happens to that sine wave. There you can see it. it's getting really fuzzy. This is with the amp draw up on it. So uh, pretty fuzzy looking, uh, you know, a lot of spikes and stuff. It's shut off now, but let's take a look at the sine wave when it's clean with uh, shore power. Okay, looking again at that sine wave with the generator running under load. Uh, it's not the best sine wave I've seen out there, that's for sure. Not all that clean. Um, as far as these generators go, it's probably not too far of how most of them are. Uh, would it uh, power sensitive stuff? Probably. Most things are pretty well protected anymore, but uh, I could sure like it to be a, a little bit cleaner than it is. Anyway, that's it on this one.